scope caps. They don't just offer protection for your glass. Oh no, they offer a level of coolness as well. And also a little area if you wanted to write down your dope right here since we always have it on the fly. They're fairly inexpensive. Multiple manufacturers make different types of scope caps and some of them even come on your favorite optics out there. But I've always had one question. Do scope caps limit how much you could see through the scope? I know that they do add a little bit of girth to the outside, so this way you don't see as much around it. But when looking through the scope, do you see less when you have scope caps on? Let's find out. All right, here we go. As you can see, we are already looking through a scope. This just so happens to be the Steiner T5XI 3-15, set at 15x at around 400 yards. The caps that I have on this are Tenebrex front and rear, and as you can see, we can see through the scope without any sort of issues. My question is to see once I take the caps off, if the image inside the scope is going to change at all. Because you'd think that there is a little bit of a perimeter on the front and the rear, would that make a difference? I know for many of you out there, you might be saying, what, are you retarded? Of course it doesn't. But you know what? I figured I'd set this in stone and have an answer once and for all. And without further ado, there you go. The caps taken off the Steiner have absolutely no impact on the inside looking through it. Putting them back on, you could see, once you take it off, absolutely nothing changes. So at least with these Tenebrex caps, no, it does not make a lick of difference whether you have them on or not. You are not going to be impeded when looking through the scope. All right, but you don't have Tenebrex caps. You have Butler Creek caps. Well, don't worry, I got you covered there as well. We're now looking through the SWFA Fix 10X Side Focus, which I just so happen to have Butler Creek caps on, again, front and rear. Take a good look at this. We're about to take it off, and there you go. Again, as you can see, there is no change to the inside image when looking through the scope. Right now, the caps are off. When we put them back on, nothing changes except for seeing a little bit less throughout the outside of the scope. But that was already something that we, were, we knew about going into this. So, Butler Creeks, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about them giving you a problem. But see, those are all larger magnified optics. What about an LPVO? Well, not to worry, young viewer. I just so happen to still have the VX6HD, or at least I did when I filmed this back in, like, December. That scope came with alumina rings from Loophold, and they were really, really nice. As you can see, they have a very slim profile on the outside. But once we remove them, let's see if there's any change to the image itself. Ah, would you look at that? No change whatsoever. Let's put them back on. Nothing changes. Let's take them back off. Beautiful. That's three caps down. Let's try another one. But see, Butler Creeks are fairly affordable. Tenebrex are really expensive, and the Illumina ones are really expensive. What about the cheap ones that come with my primary arms LPVO that come from factory? Well, you know what? I just so happen to have a Primary Arms 1-8 to that came with really inexpensive caps, similar to Butler Creek's, just to show you right here, right now. I haven't showcased this scope yet, only because I just haven't had the time. But anyway, I'll at least show you how well these caps perform. And would you look at that? Not a single bit of difference to the entire image. So, I think this is now finally put to bed. If you think that your caps are restricting your image to the scope, you're dead wrong. And with that, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.